All right. Next up, Chris Brown is in mentioned in Dallas. Uh, Chris Brown is out there in Fort Worth uh, with Yellow Beezy setting up people, beating them up allegedly. Um, hey man, is is this just is this him or is it just people knowing that it's him and able to get a lawsuit off because people don't because it's him? Ooh. What? Chris, listen, trouble follows Chris Brown everywhere that he goes. And I think sometimes it is people fucking with him. Um, and but I, I don't know. So this story, as it goes in the lawsuit, you got these uh, people who said that they were brutally and severely beat um, in an unprovoked attack. Uh, so they, uh, they said the men were allegedly invited backstage to the VIP area where they claimed they waited for 30 minutes for Chris Brown to arrive. The four concert girls were preparing to leave after getting tired of waiting. One of Brown's associates reminding him uh, that he and one of the plaintiffs, uh, Bush, allegedly were beefing. Brown allegedly replied, oh yeah, we were. I don't forget shit before telling his crew to fuck, sh to fuck him up, fuck the guy up. Um, and then the men claimed they tried to leave or were followed by seven to ten of Brown's entourage before allegedly being attacked. Um, all the men needed medical treatment, according to the lawsuit. One said that he had head injuries. Uh, lot, somebody else was hospitalized. Um, and oh, reportedly hospitalized and will need to undergo extensive medical treatment. Um, and then also the filing also claims that Live Nation shamelessly profits and promotes Brown's the 1111 tour about Brown to Texas for financial gain, despite his alleged history of bad conduct and violent conduct. Now, I remember when I told y'all when <coughs> Brown, when they first said he was coming to Fort Worth, there were newspapers here in Dallas who were like, why? Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember you saying that. Because he was said that. So I don't know what happened with Chris Brown and these dudes. I, it all, I, I don't know, but I, I, don't, I, I don't. Damn, man. All this for a dude that just want to take pictures with his fans after the show? But then, then one of the dude, didn't somebody else, I thought I was reading an article where it said that, hey, man, ain't that the dude that been dissing you or something? Or we had beef with him. He's like, oh, yeah, that's right. Let's whoop that's his what he, That's what I'm saying. That's what he's saying. Yeah, bro, and, like, that's and, weird. Like, that's yeah, weird I'll, testimony. So it's a, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I got nothing. Okay, oh, Chris <laughs> Brown come back to Dallas. <laughs> is Chris Brown good in Dallas? Uh, I don't know. Well, let me say this. He was in Fort Worth. Fort Worth is not Dallas. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's funky town. That's funky town. Like it's and it's even though it's it's the DF, DFW to Dallas, the Dallas Fort Worth metro area. Like Fort Worth is not like forty minutes away from me, and I'm in Dallas. So, and I'm in well, I'm in North Dallas, but either way, it's still not close. Like it's yeah, that, I mean that's basically like going to St. Charles or St. Charles, like St. Charles, Lake St. Louis, right? For you, right? It's pretty much, but you. it's like also the other part of it is like think of all of St. Charles County, right? All of that. So St. Charles, St. Peter is like Winsville, all of that, right? Wentzville. All of that, and that's Fort Worth. So like it's the the reality of like Dallas has like three million people or something like that, but Fort Worth may have like three million people. So it's not uh like oh that's just the next county over. Fort Worth is like its own thing. Like it's a whole like it's a different county. Um, so like that is Fort Worth is Tarrant County. It's Tarrant. Yeah, it's Tarrant. Yeah. So it's one of my boys, uh, president of Tarrant uh, Community College over that yeah, way. So it's a. Uh, like legit, if somebody tells you they live in Fort Worth, you like. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it's the cheaper area to live in, right? It depends on what cheaper means to you. Well, it's more affordable. <laughs> not so. I'm not going to say it is or it isn't. It is kind of depends. Like you can still go to Fort Worth and spend some money. Like the. I'll say this for rent. If you have a one bedroom for rent, you paying at least twelve, right? Like that's just it. Like, like you're not getting past that. You at least paying twelve. Um, and even with that twelve, you may not be in a nice area. But that's okay. So um, there's that part. And, and that's in Fort Worth or Fort Worth or Dallas. It, that's in the metro. Too. That's just around here anyway. And I think that's kind of like no matter where you are. So. Um, 
now, like again, there's some places you can pay less than that, but again, you start paying less, it's a little different. For I mean, also like Fort Worth is very nice. It's very, I mean, well, all of it's all uh, really nice out here, but it's like I'm not going to say that it costs. I mean, the cost of living is not really any different. It's just another area. Like it's just a, a another section, and there's there is that difference. <laughs> I think I've kind of seen like that difference in people who grew up in Fort Worth versus people who grew up in Dallas. Um, and uh, there's also the difference in the people who, I mean, city versus county, Dallas, people who grew up in Dallas proper versus people who grew up in the suburbs. There's differences in that. But uh, like Worth, those, people, those people rocking them shags, like the yellow beezy is with uh, the shags. Yeah, they got right? the, the booty on the back of the head. <laughs> They do. And when I moved here in 2015, my friend Ashley told me that they were doing that. And I didn't believe her until I was at McDonald's and drive through and the dude that gave me my food had a shag. That was 2015. They still doing it. It hasn't stopped. So it's like, and it, it begs the question, did y'all bring the shag back or did it never leave? <laughs> Ain't never leave Dallas. Like how you see all the jerry curls in Memphis. <laughs> I feel like it just didn't leave. Like it's like you really got a shag. Kansas City was holding on them jerry curls for a long time too. Who? Oh. Kansas City was. Oh yeah, KC. <laughs> yeah, KC was holding on them jerry curls for a while. <laughs> Yeah, it's um, St. Louis. That uh, the finger finger waves had them in the chokehold. Finger waves for the ladies was in for a long Listen, time. And your mama got up Saturday morning <laughs> at five. She was at the drop shop at five o'clock in the morning on a Saturday to go get her freeze finger waves. Now she so got the finger waves in front, a little freeze at the top, and that way that she would, and then she might have left her like again first thing in the morning. Imagine going to the beauty shop at five o'clock in the morning. And that's Saturday. On a Saturday. <laughs> but that's what you did. Because you had to get your shit together. So overall, what are we saying that Chris Brown is just it just troubles just happens to follow him? Or are we what is the what is or we still don't know? Because it could be either one. It could go either. I honestly think it go it could go either way. I don't, but I also I really kind of don't think. That he goes places starting shit. Nah. I think that because it's it's him, people will kind of fuck with him a little bit, and then people will judge you for how you react to something, but not what they did to cause your reaction. Like people will always remember that. So people will somebody will sit there and kick your seat a million times, and when you finally turn around and pop their ass. You're the one that's the bad guy for hitting them. But you trip about all the times this person was kicking my seat. And I think, like I said, I don't know everything that happens with Chris Brown. We we do know that there that there's a history of shit. But again, did he start it or did he end it? I don't know. I don't know the answer to that, but what about you, Scott? What do you what do you think? What's your I, resolution? I, either way, but I, I don't man, I think he just out here just trying to just live it up on these tour, give it you know, kick it with his fans that's paying the because every day I see a new picture. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but so shout the Meg the Stallion who's got in on it. You said what? Shout the Meg the Stallion who's got on got in on these uh yeah. I didn't believe that at first, so that's true. The twenty thousand. Dude, I saw a one where dude was palming her and everything, like she letting it, letting it go down. Twenty. Racks. Now let me ask you this: that picture <laughs> mm -hmm. that you thought, was it a wax uh, statue of her? Hold on, seen, I'm gonna be cool. I've, I've seen, seen the picture, and it's a dude, like it's a dark skinned dude that's like, and she has on like this um, like cat suit thing, but like yeah, the twenty grand th that's. You know, I'll say this. I'm not mad at it. If she's like, oh, yeah, oh, you can touch my ass for 20000 Yeah, no. I mean, she's doing it with girls, everything. So I'm going to share my screen here. Uh, fair, if you were listening audio-wise, you know, hey, sorry about that. Man, you, None, should no watch, you should be watching. You should be watching. Um, 
I'm going to. People dipping into their 401k to grab some ass. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> dipping into their pension. <laughs> So do y'all see that there? This is this is one here. Okay. With Meg. These are ones with Meg here okay. um, that I found, and then so like she's doing these meet and greets with people, and like this one dude right here though. He uh, oh, it's a TikTok video, but he looked like he having a good he his short ass is sitting out there like, hey, <laughs> I paid my money. I'm holding on to her like we at prom. So these mean girls, she just started doing these, y'all. So damn, man. <laughs> I, I mean, look, that's how you get your. I mean, uh, my best friend, I remember he went to Beyonce's first concert. He did a meet and greet with her. And I remember at that time, he paid like 500 some dollars. And it was like a big deal. Like, it, it was like, not even wanting to tell people that that's what he paid because he like just like people judge at eleven hundred, people were judging at five. But you know, five you know, tickets, five hundred dollars meet and greet, and he has that picture. And I mean, and they get and he'll have that forever, right? So like, so that was high back then. So you, if you get to if you want to meet somebody and you want to pay the money, that's it. I don't know who I would pay five hundred dollars to meet. Um. I have to think about it. Is there anybody that I want to spend that much that money to, to literally just to meet you? Like to be like, oh hey, and here's a picture. Like that's yeah, but um I, I don't know who I would who th that person is for me, but I'm not mad. Yeah, but the, back, the backstage path before wasn't a paid thing. It was like hey, this is something for the radio or promo or like are you these are the like, you know, people in the city that you want to kind of hang with. They kind of perverted this into being a money making thing. Before the VIP pass was like, if you had a VIP pass, like, oh, they must know somebody to be hanging back here. And it wasn't a thing well, to that. And then you got to think back then that VIP pass is probably controlled from the label, and this is all the artist stuff. You know, these meet and greet, oh, you know, they can control the price. Good point. <laughs> Good point. The label giving it out to people like all the like to the radio, like, hey, yeah, make sure y'all pay the radio, that you music. win to the eighth caller, you know. Yep. It is. <laughs> right. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, it, I mean it, it, this is interesting it, with that. It's, then, it, the, it, if it's someone no, I'm saying the, no, the real the meet and greet then was you know, you just had to go to street side on a Thursday afternoon after school. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you got there on time to get that autograph. <laughs> is an autograph you know, anything now? It's the picture. It's the selfie. It's the, the selfie is the new autograph. <laughs> Unless they sign in like an actual album or a jerk or an athlete signing a jersey or something. Yeah. The, so just get them right on the napkin. It ain't worth it no more. Just taking a picture with them. <laughs> it's the picture. That's the new autograph. What? I feel I also feel like autographs do I think you do have to kind of autograph that sports memorabilia. So you want an autographed jersey, an autographed album, something like that, right? And sadly, because it turns from it just being something for you, but also now it has actual monetary value possibly mm -hmm. with it. Um fun fact, my grandfather had a signed Mickey Mantle. Uh, baseball. Oh shit! Hey, this cool ass Scott from the I Love Nineties Music Podcast. Hit that subscribe button right now. Like it on the SOLC Network. You finna get all the real deal on the nineties, the two thousands, and the splash of that eighties. Do it right now, man, and I'll be your friend.